The White House and big brands are angrier about the word racist than they are about racism. Black women helped send white men into space and won back-to-back -back tennis titles and changed the makeup industry. We have even made our way into the White House. But lately, it seems like those in power around the world would rather have black women sit down and shut up, especially about the racism, sexism, and white supremacy that threaten our daily lives. A Twitter storm of controversy has erupted after ESPN host Jamel Hill called President Trump a white supremacist. In response, ESPN publicly censured her, saying her comments do not represent the views of the network, and that she had recognized that her actions were inappropriate. But that wasn't enough for the White House. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders had this to say. I think that's one of the more outrageous comments that anyone could make, uh, and certainly something that I think is a fireable offense. And that's the press secretary for the same man who called the former president, Barack Obama, a racist when he worked for NBC. Apparently it wasn't a fireable offense then. Hill is hardly the first public figure to call Trump a bigot or a white supremacist. My colleague Dana Milbank called candidate Trump a bigot and a racist back in 2015. Yet Hill, a black woman, is the first one to be in the crosshairs of the government. And it isn't just her. L'Oreal Paris recently fired black trans model Monroe Bergdorf for posting social media messages about white privilege. At the same time, a former gubernatorial candidate felt it was perfectly fine to tell CNN commentator Simone Sanders to shut up live on air. Will you just shut up for a minute and let me finish? Easy. And who can forget Senator Kamala Harris being interrupted by male colleagues while doing her job. And Attorney General Jeff Sessions, a grown man, saying she made him nervous. And of course, Congresswoman Maxine Waters fighting to reclaim her time from an administration official giving her the runaround. And it's not even limited to the United States. UK politician Diane Abbott has spoken about the increased racism and sexism that she's faced as an MP, even to the point of a Tory councillor posting a picture of her as an ape with lipstick. In Hill and Bergdorf's cases, ultimately, employers dictate the terms of employment. But as Bergdorf told BuzzFeed News, big brands are willing to profit from black women without standing up for them. When it comes to the fight for social justice and equality, don't believe the pepsified version that would rather erase and replace black women with the likes of Kendall Jenner. Black women have been on the front lines against racism, sexism, and white supremacy since the beginning. We weren't silenced then, and we won't be silenced now.